welcome to the casting area. <laughs> Just got a nice shot of your ass. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Mm. That was good. That was good. That works. Oh, you have your badge? But you didn't. I pulled one out of my. Do you have more of those? Or? Yeah, dude, I got some condoms in there, a lightsaber. That's nice. Some Jolly Ranchers. I would argue that condoms are like. Does that mean your ass tastes like fruity? Yeah. But the Lifesavers is mint, so. Oh, okay. Oh, so you have like a fresh. Minty butter. freshness. Yeah, fresh butter. Butter. Oh. It actually burns so much. It's like I just jammed a bunch of Icy Hot in there. <laughs> you know those old commercials with Shaquille O'Neal where he's putting on the Icy Hot? Yeah, yeah, it feels yeah. like Shaq's coming out of my asshole right now. <laughs> Pit day number one. I'm nervous. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I go through that mindset and I'm just like, yeah, we decided I was host like three days ago, right? It's a problem that we just don't have enough talent for the event. So I was like, okay, I'll be host. I just did the Shanghai Major. I did the Grand Finals for God's sake. It's fine. It's like not many people watch Dota Pit anyway. Yeah, but what if I fuck up? It's fine, you have plenty of fallbacks. Yeah, but still, you don't want to fuck up. Relax, I'm a top tier caster. I'm a great panelist. I'm sure I'll make a decent host. Yeah, but what if you're not? You are your own worst enemy. Good stuff. So, we may be out of Shanghai, but uh, Blitz's white socks make a triumphant return. Nobody's gonna see these though. Absolutely no one is gonna see these. It's a fashion faux pas. But no one's gonna see these. I'm seeing it right now. Who cares? I kinda look Triggered. Like, I look Triggered! Cool. I look pretty cool in athletic socks plus <laughs> these shoes. I have gray black socks. Showing your skin is a nice touch as well. It makes me look like a young schoolboy. Young schoolboy. Yeah, it's a very fa fashionable look right now. <laughs> in Asia. In... In south southern parts of Vietnam. Yeah. Oh, I mean, all South Koreans in Berlin do it. <laughs> it's my salary. Full year. 3,000 meter track? I'm yeah. Okay. One year from today, I will personally fly you. It's not even gonna be close, actually. <laughs> I know it's not! <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. I mean... So, Blitz just bet a year's worth of his salary and he's now against Jacob <laughs> that, uh, that Blitz's sister, Grace, could beat Jacob and what was it, 3,000 meters? Mm -hmm. A 3,000 meter race. Mm -hmm. Jacob, who hasn't been doing any exercise at all for years, is going, to spend, <laughs> is going to spend a year getting in shape. So he can beat Grace. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to spend a year getting in shape. I'm going to spend a month, but I'm just not willing to do it right now. Grace is, was the cross-country and track captain of her high school, which had a very good program, which produced many collegiate athletes. She also did the same at Indiana University, a prominent Big Ten school. She runs every single day. She has a very quick time, even, on, even among men. She could have ran at like a state level. And Jacob is just like, casually, yeah, I can do it. Keep in mind, she works out literally non-stop. And I'm gonna tell her about this bet. And I'm gonna give her half the money. In fact, I'll give her all the money. And we shook, did you catch the shake? Yes. Money. Okay, so, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, can I just present exhibit A? To oh, is that your counter argument, Jacob? I mean, I don't think, okay. That the, and I too have The thing is, I don't think Jacob's serious, but I am. Like, I'm looking at the date, I'm like having you mark down, it's 19th of March. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is perfect actually. 19th of March, 2016. Yeah. Mar so, uh, I too am a track champion. I also want to mark for the record that I'm racing a girl 
with racial origins from a country that's never won anything speedy. Oh my wow. god. Other than masturbating. <laughs> what? This is gonna be literally like the freest fight of all time. Austin, you wanna get in on this? I'll, I'll, uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, as soon as I tell Ben, he's gonna see if there's any action left. <laughs> yeah. Grace is literally I the know. most athletic person in the East. Ben would also like, like to take your money. But Grace is like, I can almost confidently say, like, pound for pound, mm -hmm. Grace is probably the most athletic person in the East for scene. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't doubt that. Yeah. She's gonna smoke you. Dirk, get in on it. It's free money. It's free money. This is a 21 against him showing a 5. Come on, let's go. Let's go. is back to their hotel after day number one of Dota Pits. How are you guys feeling? Bedtime. Bedtime. Not feeling much. I feel not. great, honestly. I'm so feeling time. ready for breakfast. What time is it right now? 2.30. 2 2 I think I woke up at 2 the other day. At yeah. PM. So it's been roughly 36, 36 hours. hours. Yeah. Of being awake. I feel good. It's actually pretty absurd if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Like that. Like I'm tired right now, and I had a decent night's sleep, like seven hours. Yeah. I don't know how I'm still like. No. I don't want to talk this with you tomorrow. With your past is on the floor. I mean, I told you I can I can work through anything. After Frankfurt, when I kept getting sleep paralysis and I was still okay, that's when I knew. It's like I'm a god. I'm, I am the superman. I'm the superman of doing mundane tasks. <laughs> Eat well, be well. So, back in the hotel room. I am exhausted. <laughs> but, uh, day number one, I would say, went pretty well. Honestly, the fans were amazing. Staff was super helpful. Um... All that, all that kind of support just makes me wish that uh, we had been able to keep it more high energy and um, just a better panel in general. But fortunately, Blitz, Blitz was operating like Blitz hadn't slept for 36 hours. I didn't sleep well very well last night. Um, Dur I mean, Durko was fine on energy because he was pretty hyped up about today. I think things went well for him today. Pretty happy about that. Uh, I think he, I think he changed a lot of minds today. Um, similar to the, th the way it happened for me at ESO One Frankfurt the first time, twenty fourteen. So, it's good. I hope this is going to be a turning point for him. Hosting for me, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Is I was so full of nerves this morning, as you probably saw, and. That nervous energy just worked through me, and by the probably third segment, third or fourth segment, I was pretty chilled out again. I wasn't, like, really nervous anymore. I was kind of chill, but that nervous energy definitely wore on me, and I was very tired very quickly. So that probably played into some of my low energy, but... Uh, honestly, every, everyone uh, everyone around that area was really awesome, really nice. Croatian people seem pretty cool all around. Hosting, I learned a lot so far in day number one. 
hopefully all the things that I learned I'll be able to carry over to day number two. Transitions are still the biggest issue for me. Um, it's funny because as a caster, my passes are pretty good, I think. But as a host, they're not quite as strong. Um, I think it's because I'm able to prepare a little bit more as a caster. Something about it, it's just, it's the kind of the same kind of thing over and over again. So uh, I guess I'm just more practiced at it. Whereas from the hosting, there's so many other things I'm thinking about, like doing the, um, doing the sellout stuff and uh, wrapping up certain things and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think I like what I'm doing so far. Keep the passes clean and to the point. Um, I think that's something that I have noticed in other hosts that um, that has always bothered me. And you let your outro or intro go too long uh, when you're trying to pass to somebody. That, um, that always bothered me. So I think I'm doing that right. It's just, it, it just needs to be a bit smoother. Um, there are various things, a little bit more banter, some more energy, stuff like that. Um, it's just a three person panel is difficult, I think. Um, I, I wish I could, I wish I could have like put on like the three person panel be training wheels for like the first series. And I, I wish I could have like gone up to a four or five person panel from there to really feel it out a bit more, but I'm pretty happy with how day number one went. Still need to make a lot of improvements, but first day of hosting. In the bag. It's day number two. Day number two of Dota Pit Season 4 brought to you by GTA.com! Oh, what the fuck? Alright, apparently. Oh, they Damn. Uh, I hate fucking loud noises. I hate loud noises. I I absolutely hate hate loud popping noises. Bugs the shit out of me. We're doing the test fire. Good stuff. thought casters didn't make stacks mm-hmm that's right I just successfully made more money oh I just successfully made more money at the casino than much more than I will take home for working this event <laughs> oh it's been a good night it's been a good night it is like 4.30 in the morning, uh, Monday morning, technically, Sunday night, night of Dota Pit finishing up. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy, man. I think the hosting went, went pretty well. Um, honestly, everything lined up really well. Uh, I managed to... I worked to get some pro players on the panel to really make it something that stood out. And... I have the connections with just the right players, so I got Swindles and Eternal Envy on the finals desk. I also had Fly in there, thanks to Ebony. And all three of them did fantastic, particularly the last segment. MVP won, big fairy tale ending, amazing stuff. I got um, Blitz brought Febby up onto the panel and 
through Blitz. I know some um, I know some of the early stories about Febby and him living in like saunas for like a year and a half, like essentially being homeless. And now he's just beat Evil Geniuses 3-0 in a grand finals to win $100,000. So, you know, a lot of things wrote itself. I just was along for the ride. But I think the hosting was good. Definitely some things that, uh, I mean, I learned a lot over the course of two days and... Um, there's definitely some things that, uh, if I do something like this again, I would like to do better. But I think that I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I had this opportunity to be the host for Dota Pit. I wanted to show people that I could, that I could be one of the best. And I think I showed that. I think I showed that I can be up there with Coddle Guy and Cheever when it comes to Dota hosts. And I think, uh, I think I just increased my stock, as it were. Just made myself, showed myself to be the most diverse talent that I can be. Hosting, co-casting, analyst, play-by-play caster. I can do it all. So, now over the next hour. How long is our flight? Uh, flying, it's like an hour and a bit to Frankfurt and then like another 45 minutes to Berlin. Wait, what time are we going to arrive in Berlin? Uh, you're probably looking at around 10, 11 a.m. I think. Holy shit! Yep, so oh. staying awake through the night is crap. Oh well. No to all travelers, when booking flights, book them in the afternoon just before you go to sleep. That is like distinctly different from what our flight in was. Uh, Either way, over the course of the next six or seven hours, uh, we'll be flying back to Berlin and Dota Pit is officially over. So, I hope it's you guys over. enjoyed it. It's over now. Sorry. I mean, if you want to keep... I'm, I'm fucking with your vlog. If, if you want to keep singing, I can turn the camera on to you. Ah, uh, that's you not sing. a good idea, Cap. Toby just got out of the shower. I am steamy. And half naked. That is... mildly true. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Dota Pit. I hope you enjoyed the hosting. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog.